after you do the happy dance, you grab his legs underneath the stirrups and step on his head. You don't want to let him lay on the ground and flop and tear himself up if you're going to take him to the taxidermist. Located in the Green River region of South Central Kentucky. My name is Jim Reiser, and not only am I a good friend of Brent and Jan George, but I'm an insane turkey hunter. As a pro staff member for Midwest Whitetail and Cabela Spring Thunder, I have the opportunity to hunt some of the nicest places in the country. Every turkey season, my heart gets led back here to South Central Kentucky. Brent and Jan both have, between them, gosh, 80 to 100 years of experience in turkey hunting. Brent and Jan both know these properties like the back of their hands. I mean, these areas have been their stopping grounds from the get go. As you're looking at this panoramic view, know that Brent and Jan have scaled every inch of it. You'll have access to just some of the most beautiful, beautiful country from the areas here behind the church, all the way up the lane, on the other side by the water tower. My heart leads me back to South Central Kentucky every single turkey season. And the way that Brent and Jan treat you, well, they treat you like you're their only customer. Brent always takes me to the coolest places, and every single time he says, I think we've got a bird there, we usually score. You look here, this is the barn area. Brent refers to this area on his hunt for this video. This other strip on the right side, that's my favorite place. I've killed some great turkeys right down this whole entire strip. They'll make you wish it was turkey season all year long. We're in South Central Kentucky, day before turkey season. We're, uh, we're in a spot that Jan and I are very, very fond of. So uh, hopefully we can put some birds to bed tonight and uh, in the morning get set up on them. So uh, kick back and enjoy. There were seven hens with those two toms, so we went ahead and gave a running gun a shot and got up above them, and uh, they're pretty much just milling around that field. This is as good a place as any on the farm to um, wait. Uh, Brent's known this farm for a gazillion years, and um, 
uh, once those hens leave, uh, we're going to go ahead and use the same call. It's a box call. And uh, we're going to use that same call that got them fired up to begin with. So we're going to keep our fingers crossed and just wait these guys out at this point. So when I got in here and I got the camera up, things started rolling quick. I never heard a fly down. I just did a couple of little purrs and that was it. But again, I never heard a fly down and all of a sudden I see that hand walking out real slow. I thought, well, that uh, Tom's going to be right behind her because that's the way he was yesterday. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. Uh, I'm so pumped up. I'm so grateful to be here in Kentucky. I want to say a big thanks to Brent and Jan George for having me come down here film them on their awesome hunts and uh, be able to get a hunt in myself. We're in this blind because we've dealt with this horrendous wind for a day and a half. And um, they have a wind advisory out today, 45 mile an hour winds. Um, being down in this bottoms is, it, it's just not nearly as windy. And I think the birds feel safer when they're out in the fields and not in the woods where, where you know, the wind is really making a lot of noise and stuff. So we got a couple of clover fields here. I think this is going to be a good spot. We see lots of turkeys here. So um, we're going to hang out here and be patient.
half, we've worked our butts off doing this and uh, have really battled with the wind. We've had several setups. We've used several different techniques from running and gunning to belly crawling. And I finally decided that uh, with the way the wind is, and I mean, they've, you know, with the wind advisory, I thought we'll come down here in the bottoms and get in a blind. And we've got some good food plots down here. Um, so we sat in the blind and we weren't there for too long and I decided we need to get some volume out there with our calls. So uh, I started acting like a bunch of crazy hens and tapped him on the knee and said, I think I've heard a gobble. So we quit, said, well, we'll go at it again and we were going at it like crazy and next thing I know I look around and here's two toms coming. So it happened pretty quick. Um, I had time to put the call down and pick up the gun. Didn't get my face mask or my gloves on. It just, you know, I should have had those on, I guess. <laughs> it happened pretty quick. Got him. Hang on a minute. Go get him. Here, I'll walk out with you. Hang on. Four, five, six, four, five, easily. Oh my gosh, were they thunder. Spring thunder. Man, what a morning. 
Well, Jimmy and I come over here yesterday afternoon and we had some birds roosted over there. Actually, we bumped a couple coming out, but uh, we knew that we knew there were going to be birds in here. There always is. It's just a great spot. We call this the barn. Anytime you hear us say behind the church and at the barn, this is where we're going to be. And uh, it was just one great morning. Unbelievable. Check him out. Let's see. Boy, Jimmy, he's got some decent hooks on him. He sure does. This one here is. I would say he's a two-year-old bird. He don't have much. He, he's not as big as beard as I thought. But there were uh, there were three more down there, and see they're right over that little knob. And Jimmy spotted this one, and he finally he mounted that hen, and then he he got done, and uh, he picked up on that decoy, and he was coming to us. And Jimmy told me he says any time. So, that's what we did, uh, April 14th, South Central Kentucky. Thanks to Jimmy Reiser, a great friend of mine, and uh, yeah. <laughs>